Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Devotions with Emma and Sammy. We're so excited that you're here. Um, today, we're going to be talking about a guy named Philip. So Philip was a disciple. Um, we're going to learn how he told a lot of people about Jesus. So we're going to talk about exactly what he did and then what that means for us. But first, we're going to go over to Emma for our main idea and theme and verses. So our theme is still God's promises. We're going to wrap that up this week. And our main idea is Philip the disciple. And our verse is from Acts chapter 8, verses 26 through 28. As for Philip, an angel of the Lord said to him, Go south down the desert road that runs from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under the Candic, the queen of Ethiopia. The eunuch had gone to Jerusalem to worship, and he was now returning. Seated in his carriage, he was reading aloud from the book of the prophet Isaiah. That is our verse. Over to you, Sammy. Thanks, Emma. Um, so, yes, we're talking about a guy named Philip. He was a disciple. And if you remember, Jesus' last words to the disciples were to be witnesses, um, so to tell everyone about Jesus um, to the ends of the earth. So. As we enter the story today, um, the church, so the people that the disciples have told about Jesus, has continued to grow and grow and grow. So the disciples are moving farther out from where they started to tell people about Jesus. Um, so Philip is listening to the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit comes to him, just like Emma read, she dropped us right into the story. This the Holy Spirit says, go here. So Philip says, okay, I shall. And he goes there. And then when he gets there, the Holy Spirit says, go over and walk alongside the carriage. So this guy is reading aloud from the, pro from the prophet Isaiah, this book Isaiah. Philip says, okay, I will. And he goes and he walks by beside the carriage. And the man says, do you understand like, what this is saying? Or Philip asks the man that, do you understand what this is saying? And the guy says, how am I supposed to understand it if I don't have an interpreter? Um, so Philip is able to explain this passage to this man. The man ends up getting baptized and telling so many more people about Jesus. Um, so Philip did exactly what Jesus said to tell more people about him. Um, so this whole thing of telling people about Jesus is called evangelism, which is a really big word. But the definition basically is telling people about Jesus, telling them the good news. Um, so that takes us to our question today. Just like Philip told um, this man about Jesus, and just like the disciples told a bunch of people about Jesus, um, there might have been times when you feel like someone told you about Jesus or when you told someone else about Jesus and about this good news. So I just want you to ask yourself, have you ever told someone or has someone ever told you? And I want you just to think about that experience. And if you're like, I don't feel like I've told anyone. I don't think anyone's told me. I want you to picture it. Just think what would it look like if either you told someone or they told you. So that's kind of complicated. Just think about those experiences um, and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Um, so when you're thinking about that experience, there's probably a lot of emotions with it. There's probably maybe certain words they said or maybe you just remember how you feel. Um, and those are really good things to think about. And we also asked you a couple days, days ago to think about someone who you think needs to learn about Jesus. Um, so I want you to bring that person back to your mind. And if you can't remember, think of a new person. There's probably many people that need to know about Jesus. Um, we want you to just spend some time praying for that person, praying that they would get to know Jesus. Um, maybe God will use you to teach them about Jesus, but maybe um, he'll use someone else and that's okay. So we want you to take some time, talk to God, and pray for the person that you think needs Jesus. Pause. Welcome back. Um, thanks for taking the time to learn about evangelism with us. We're going to keep talking about um, the things that Jesus told us to do in the next few chapters. Um, but for today, we're going to go over to Emma for our really fun invitation. Thanks, Sammy. So today is Cinco de Mayo, and to give you a little history on the holiday, contrary to popular belief, it is actually not Mexican Independence Day. It commemorates Mexico's victory over France in the Battle of Puebla in 1862. 
And to keep talking about history, we have a link to share with you that will take you on a virtual tour of an exhibit on traditional Mexican dresses at the Museum of Mexican Popular Art in Mexico City. It's really cool, and I think you guys should check it out. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.